Good evening, hello and uh, oh, welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean, I, I always love Tuesdays at 8 o'clock because, well, this is a show I've been very lucky to present now for over 11 years and every Tuesday we bring you some amazing and exclusive offers with Planet Cruise and tonight is no exception. I'm joined by a great friend of mine, Glenn Wallace is back. Hello mate, how are you? Looking very, you're quite tanned actually. You're, you're looking very jumpered up tonight, aren't you? You're looking but very cosy that you should be sitting in front of a fire. Well, I was, I'm kind of getting ready, we've got an, uh, a Northern Lights cruise yeah, is that up. what we're getting ready for? That's what I'm getting ready for, yeah. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm just getting middle-aged, I think, you know. Yeah, so, that's you it, know, exactly. I've gone for the jumper look tonight. <laughs> um, but uh, you're looking very, we've got, a, we've got a great show, haven't we? a good we? show. We're going a bit cold, a bit warm. We're going over to the Caribbean. We've got Northern Lights. We're going, we've got all, bo all bits and bobs. And we've got a new River Cruise I was just well. going to say that. From Tui. From Tui. They're brand new ship. Morella. Morella Tui, whatever they're called now. So, yeah, we've got one of those launching, which is brand new. We've not done that before. I tell you what I'm excited about as well. There's another brand new ship, isn't there? There is. Which our guys went on last week to have a look at. And they went filming, didn't they? They did filming, so we've got some new footage of that as well. That's all we're going to tell you for yeah, the time exactly. being. There you go. <laughs> uh, now, Glenn works for Planet Cruise, um, so you'll be in the office tomorrow. No, don't tell me you've got another day off. No, I'm in tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. I've got two days back in the office, and then I'm away on holiday. No, only for four days. OK, mini break. Yeah, mini break. Yeah, going off to uh, Kiev. And I'm going to Chernobyl. Yeah, you were telling me this earlier, actually, oh, yeah. I'm going to go and have lunch. We're actually having lunch in Chernobyl on Saturday. I can't imagine what that's going to be like, but I bet it'd be fascinating. Mm, yeah, it could be glowing next uh, week, but let's see how we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, do you know, do you know what, where I'd prefer to have lunch, if I'm honest, though? Well, this is true. I, I'd prefer to have lunch on a beautiful, brand new ship. And we actually ran a competition. We did, on the, the Grandiosa, which is the new MSC yeah. ship. And five lucky couples, or, well, four, sorry, um, have won tickets for lunch on board her, haven't they? They have, and I think they've been contacted, but we've got the details here for you. So, um, great shout-out going out to uh, John Hobson, uh, Ian uh, Sothcote, I hope I said that right, Margaret Brown and Anne Stevens. So, well they're going to go on next week. Um, Kat's going to be on there, a few other guys are going to be on as well. So, going to get a chance to have lunch on board, which will be very, very nice. You will have an amazing time. And, uh, and brand the ship, new the ship, ship gonna looks say. amazing. Yeah. And it's, it's like anything, you get a new car, it's going to have that new ship smell and, oh. and everything. Everything will be new. And uh, MSC now, they're bringing out these new ships. They brought out, obviously, Bellissima and these new ships that are coming out now. This will be wonderful. Good yeah. chance to see it. And we are uh, just looking here. Um, yeah, we've got we've got some very exciting ships on tonight, actually, haven't we? We have. Yeah. But well, we've got an old favourite to start with. We have. Sorry, I'm just, we've got such a good show. I'm already already shopping ahead. But <laughs> we are going to start with a fantastic offer from P and O Cruises. We actually featured P and O. Uh, they did a whole show with us a couple yeah. of weeks ago, and that was actually one of the busiest shows this year, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we had pre-launch for their 21-22 seasons uh, that came out, which seems ridiculous getting it booked so early but the reason we're saying now with with cruises is to get it booked as early as you can because again the reason we're saying that now is it's such good value and it, the other thing as well child prices are going to be wonderful yeah well on this one just to give you the heads up we've got um a price starting it's 12 nights as well at 879 but we have got an amazing deal uh, a family special on the uh, 29th of November where children sell from only a pound per a pound. person. Now, we, w with Brilliant my cruise, value. we're going on Azura next year and we booked the Azura last year so we booked it nearly two years in advance and we're taking Brooke on for a pound I mean brilliant so you know you, you book it low deposit you get it booked now and you know you've got it secured and the thing with kids places already you'll see uh, some of the dates in the middle of the summer are sold out for children so you've got to get it booked in as quick as you can well I tell you what um, you're gonna have a great time and uh, of course you'll be on board the fabulous Ventura have a little look at this so again, this is going to be due in Spain, Portugal and the Canaries. So whenever you decide to go down to this part of the world, if you're going to do it in the summer, that's a great time of year to go. But they've got the best, uh, the best weather in the world. Because they're part pretty of the world. much so, sun yeah, all year round, isn't they? They reckon 320, 320 days of sun a year. But whether you go to Mount Tady, which is the national park there in Tenerife, you could try some of this. I've done this before, which is the Canyon Inn, which is a little bit more active. But again, we talk about the sailing past the Christ the Redeemer statue. Maybe take the tuk-tuk around in Lisbon. And again, sailing under the 25th of April Bridge is always a nice chance to do. Now, of course, in the Canaries, again, you've got a really, really good opportunity to see the dolphins and do some dolphin yeah, watching. Yeah, of course. And they do excursions there. And again, if not over in Portugal, you've got some of the beautiful villages to just go and wander, meander around and go and get lost for the day. So you've got a chance to do this. And I think this itinerary now is so, so popular because 
you more or less guarantee the sun. I mean, even and if you go in November, first day either side is going to be like the weather is now, and then it's just going to brighten up. And, it, and it's, I, you know, it's an easy cruise to do. No, no, yeah, you know, the, no flight. What I said like to that. someone the other day, they'd not cruised before, and I said, the ports of call they've got, they do here, you can sort of do as much. It's not like a Rome or a Naples or a Florence where you're rushing off and you've got the whole day off. You know, in the Canaries, you can just wander off yeah. for the day. Madeira, go off, have a wander around in the town, have a couple of drinks, have some lunch and come back. So really, really nice way to do this. And whether you do the tours, whether you don't, it's a nice relaxing cruise. Well, let's uh, let, let's uh, take you uh, then over to the Canaries. We, uh, of course, uh, set sail from Southampton. It's really easy, by the way, if you've never cruised before, you know, you, you literally arrive in Southampton, um, you, all you look at is you're taking care of, you get on the ship and, and yep. the holiday begins, And the other, the other nice thing as well, we work with the Holiday in Winchester, which we talk about a lot, it's £95 per person for two of you sharing, and that would be the night before, that would be bed and breakfast, private transfers from the hotel to the ship and then back again, and you get 12 days parking. Yeah. So if you're going to do 12 days parking for a bit extra, you might as well make it an extra and night. It, and, it, and it does mean you're not stressed on the day driving down, exactly. worried about traffic. Exactly. Uh, exactly. So we, um, we've got three days to sit, and uh, do you know, Every day should get warmer as you yeah. head towards Madeira, but it's great to explore the ship, you know, to start to settle yeah, in. if you haven't cruised before, but what's lovely is you then get down into Madeira, and it is a, a great destination. Many of you have probably done it before, whether you've been doing one of the, the transatlantics, but it is the Botanical Island, uh, home of the football Ronaldo. He's got his funny statue at the airport there, but again, when you do Madeira, you've got, it's such a hilly area. I would recommend, if you've not been there before, go in and do one of the tours. Maybe go over to the other side of the island from Funchal. Um, you could try the cable car, the funicular. Um, again, you've got the toboggan. I, Tim, did, I did the toboggan. Yeah, it's, it's quite really laugh, good. Yeah, it's and good. The, the people that do it, you know, the guys that have done it are probably in the 60s, 70s that take you down the, uh, the hill there. But it's been passed through from generation to generation. But you can see the scenery. The other thing to do there is maybe tea at Reeds in the afternoon, a little bit more dressed up and you get a wonderful opportunity to have two at Reeds, but Madeira's beautiful. And, and then we're uh, making our way next to La Palma, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, it's the Santa Cruz de La Palma, one of the smaller Canary Islands, and again, a little bit more traditional. It's a bit more greener, again, though, isn't yeah, it, as well? Yeah, very scenic when you're coming into this part of the world, but again, the actual town of Santa Cruz is lovely to go and wander around and meander around the streets. You've got the volcanic black sandy beaches, which is synonymous in this part of the world. So again, whether you do a bit more beach, whether you go a little bit more historical and around some of the venues there, you can try that, but it's a nice opportunity. And again, see, the further you go away from the actual port, the higher you get up into the mountains and some good views of the ship. Then we're going to two of the big ports of call. You've got Gran Canaria. I used to live there myself, Plaid Inglés. You've got Puerto Rico, depending on what side of the island you want to be. And just up from Plaid Inglés, you've also got Mas Palomas with the sand dunes. But again, the town there is nice to go and wander around. If you want to go a bit further afield, you can do one of the island tours. And maybe some of these places you haven't been to before, do an island tour in the morning up into the national parks, up into the scenery, the countryside, and then come back in the afternoon. Just chill out, relax, a couple of beers, and just watch the world go past. Then we go into Arecife, a little bit more of a windier island here, and again, another popular destination with the Brits, but again, from here, again, you can see the whole city spreads out, and then from there, goes out of the main town. I'd recommend doing a tour down here into the main uh, national park er uh, area. Yeah, I, I did that. It's really quite interesting, Really interesting. Actually, yeah. I think if you don't do it, yeah, the Timofaya, it's the Timofaya National Park. If you don't do the one in Teddy in, in uh, um, San Arif, maybe do the one in Lanzarote, but again, you can obviously ride the camels, but beautiful seas there, and maybe if you've got the kids with you, just take them down to the beach for a bit of a swim. Then we got Day at Sea, and then we saw Lisbon. We saw the 25th of April bridge just briefly on that video. Uh, but again, when you're in the centre of Lisbon, uh, you could do a city tour, do the tuk tuk. You've got the yellow trams. You've got the main square area there. Uh, again, you've got Hard Rock Cafe, which is always good for the kids to go to if you want something a bit more um, a bit more commercial. But again, some wonderful... Uh, do you want to have some Monument Street I've been to and the Bellum Tower? And they're really, really interesting to wander around. And again, if you've got the kids with you, depending on what you want to do. Relaxing day at sea, which is always nice before heading back into Southampton. And again, from there, off you disembark after your 12 night. I tell you what, that's a, that's a lot of days and a lot of crews for £879 per person. Um, and the great thing uh, ab about cruises and, you know, P&O, there is so much to do. You know, you're never, you're never bored. There's always, you know, great restaurants, yeah. great food, but fantastic entertainment well, as again, well. It's a, remember, it's a sterling ship, so everything's sterling. It's British yeah, cruise, so yeah. Tips, tips are now included. They used to be seven pounds per person per day. But they're all included now. All with included on they? there. You can add a drinks package on, which is just under forty pounds per person per day. But I will be honest with you, the drinks on board are pretty good value. They basically what you're paying in the pubs at home is what you pay on board. So you might not even bother doing and that and just take pay as you go. Now, Glenn, this is the prices are based.
based on select fare, and you will also get free on board spend, uh, port pack in all UK coach transfer. So you choose one of those. Yeah, yeah, so that's the select fare where you can pick your cabin number, your dining time, and that's what we recommend. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you want to save a fare, but again, with those benefits now, I'd probably take that. And again, for just a pound per person deposit. Uh, and don't forget, now we've got a great family special, uh, children's self from only a pound per person, and that's available on the 29th of November. There are some of the departure dates uh, with just slightly different pricing. And as Glenn mentioned earlier, you can add on a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £95 per person. That will include breakfast, parking for the 12 nights, and your port transfers as well. Now, we've got a great range of dates as well uh, on this one. So, dates starting as early as November, uh, April next year, going into November. Uh, 2020. But all I would say with that, all I would say with that one, Sean, as well. Look at the kids' prices on there. Obviously, if you've got the children, especially if they're under, say, my daughter's just started school in September, but we were able to take her out, obviously, before then. So you know that May time, 99 pounds to take the children on board. But I will say, that is good, the isn't it? three and four birth cabins are so so limited. If you're thinking of taking the kids, and you know they're under school age, you want to go in May. Please get that booked as early as possible. You can already see July's gone. I've got a feeling also August has probably gone now, the 31st of August. But give the guys a call in the office and they'll do the best for you. And that November one is an absolute steal, isn't it? Well, for a pound a person. A pound per person. Who says kids cost a lot of money? Yeah. <laughs> it's when they get on board, yeah. it'll cost a few quid. <laughs> well, not on a cruise, though. Not on a cruise, That's no. the thing. You've, no. got, you know, you've got all your food and entertainment. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so, we, so that's our, our first uh, deal tonight. It's a great one with P&O. Um, but... Our next cruise, uh, J Jane and um, Ian Lee, by the way, if you're watching in York, this is one that I think you'd love to do. Cause, oh, I've got uh, to give a shout out quickly to Graham Lammerman. Uh, he booked with me this week. I forgot to do that at the start. Graham Lammerman, he's off to LA. Oh, oh very Graham nice. Lammerman. Yeah. Well, this uh, this next cruise, um, so some friends of mine, Jenny, I think they'd love it because we fly over to Miami, you get to stay there, and then you've got a fantastic cruise all the way around the Caribbean. And it's with Norwegian Cruise Lines, and this is this is a brand new ship. Brand new ship, just launched this week. This and is, and you're on board is, filming, well, not well, you. I but wasn't, no, no, you no, no, I go to Chernobyl, they go on to cruise ships. But, but, but this is the new ship, this is literally brand oh, new last week. Oh, um, as word. you can see, again, it's like, as I said, it's like having a new car, you go and you've got that new, new ship smell on it, everything's clean. But with NCL, what I would say is they're geared for multi-generational so there's something for everyone there's loads of facilities on board here um, they've got a go-kart track they're the only one in the world to have the go-kart track. I mean, so if you want to do go-karting go on a cruise ship you can do that you've got things like laser tag um, but there's so many facilities on board again with this one you've got 29 different dining options 29 on 29 wow. dining options Three swimming pools, you've got five water slides, you've got the go-karting as well. 16 decks of fun on there, up to about 4,000 people, and it's 170,000 tonnes. So it's a bigger ship, but again, as you see, the facilities on there. If, if you want the formality, if you want the set dining, these are not the ships for you. If you're at work and you, you're always doing the set hours and you want to go on a holiday and just relax, and go and dine when you want, go to venues when you want. It's one of those places, every time you go from one venue to another, there's something going on. And I love that on a ship, I do. you know. Other people and like peace and quiet, but look at the actual new facilities they've got on the new and, restaurants. And, and I tell you what, with it being brand new, I mean, yeah. everything is going to be Now, mo a lot of, the, a lot of the, the, the dining options on here are obviously uh, included, but they are big NCL on their speciality dining. Now, they've brought a new thing in now called Free at Sea, which we've spoken out about before. And with this one, this will give you three meals in the speciality restaurants to try as well. So you've got an option to do that. But look at the cabins, great. Whether you do an inside, an ocean view, balcony, mini suite, haven suite, depending on what your budget is, you've got to do this. Now this is really gonna appeal, one, to people that travel with NCL or wanna go on the new ship. And two, I think it will really uh, appeal to couples, as I said, that don't want formality, they wanna dine when they want, and this is a wonderful opportunity. As I said, only launched this week. I am, uh, I'm and this is not a promo video. This is this is what she actually looks like. Yeah, actually filmed on board. Well, I am, um, I am very impressed. I mean, there's nothing like getting on board a brand new ship, and this is her maiden season. Yeah. Right now, God, I, I like the um, studio suites for, and what's for nice solo with the passengers ship as, well. as well. As I said, it's very, very modern. Um, as I said, multi generational, loads of stuff going on. Again, the go karts is their their signature thing they have on there. They're the first ship to have that. But again, things like the, the laser, laser tag, tag they have on there, um, Galaxy Pavilion. Um, again, things that will just keep you occupied. Now they've got Kinky Boots on board, which is the show. I've seen that. Uh, yeah, the West End show. It's great. But again, their other entertainment they have again caters for all ages, and their main thing their main focus on board is their dining and their drinking on board and again 
You've got loads of different options to try. And, and remember, if That's you... you'd have, innit? One of them family villas. <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you do upgrade to free at sea, as Glenn said, it's only £99 per person, and you get two extra benefits, including a wonderful drinks package. You're going to do that. Everyone takes the £99. So if you think about it, if you, if you book the drinks package on board, it's about $90 a day. So we're offering at £99 for the week, and that's all your drinks up to $15, beers, wines, cocktails, soft drinks as well. And also with that, you get three meals in the speciality restaurant. So if you go to the steakhouse three times, that's included on there as well for £99 wow. per person. Really, really good value. Um, and you also get to stay in Miami to start with. So we basically we fly to Miami, obviously flights include yeah. with this, and you get to stay, first of all, in a Miami downtown hotel, don't you? Yeah, so again, we've got no affiliation with any hotels on there. There's a few that we normally go for. We try and get you down on um, South Beach if we can. Now, we've given you one night. If you haven't been there before, I would try and add at least another couple of nights on. You might be talking... 80, 100 pounds per person per night. But, you know, there's so much to do down in Miami. You've got great beaches, the nightlife, uh, the Art Deco area. So we've, we've packaged it with one night, but we can move it a couple of nights earlier. We can look at alternative flights, regionals, but um, if you want direct flights, I think we're going to have to go from London. But again, call the guys and we can look at that for you. From there, you're then going to board the ship. And that's when you're obviously going to be doing your full itinerary. Now, you've got a day at sea, which you're going to need a few days at sea just to get around the ship. But you've got one day there to relax. And then we go down into San Juan, down into Puerto Rico. Now, this is becoming really popular with the cruise lines. Many of you haven't been there before. It's a bit Latin with the Caribbean as well. You've got the, um, the old town of San Juan. You've got the Rada. You can go up to the old um, monument area there and the old walled city. But again, if not, go into the center of the town. Great vibe in there. You can go further afield to some of the nature reserves. Good, good tours in this part of the world. And it's becoming very popular with ports of call. We're then going to St. Thomas. St. Thomas is uh, one of the American islands there. And from there, you've got a chance to go snorkeling. Paradise, if you like your water sports, you like your snorkeling, your scuba diving, maybe take one of the catamarans out. You've got the cable car there as well. Geared up for cruise ship passengers come in and again, another popular destination. And then from there, we go on to wonderful, wonderful Tortola, the British Virgin Islands. And from here, you've got a, a couple of places to go to. The actual area, the town is quite good. They've got the open-sided uh, taxis that can take you down to places like Cane Garden Bay. You can take a boat over to Virgin Gorda, which I would really, really strongly recommend. Or the other option is they do have the dolphin discovery around to the left-hand side, and you might want to go and swim with the dolphin. From there, that's Virgin Gorda just there, which is, is definitely a must place to go and see. Then two days at sea, which is nice to relax and take it easy. And then from there, we're back into Miami, and you'll be making your way home. Uh, well, what's included? Well, an awful lot with this one. So don't forget, brand new ship, maiden season. She is going to be absolutely stunning. Uh, you'll get, oh, this is good. You'll get up to $250 on board spend for stateroom as well. That does finish right. on the 18th, so, so a couple just, of weeks. Just to back clarify, for £99 with a free at sea, You'll also you get the two benefits, plus you're getting $250 on board spend. So really, that's, that's nearly our, everything taken care of. Oh, that's brilliant. Really good. Brilliant. Uh, and also, um, obviously, return flights based on London. But definitely go for that free at sea for £9, £10. Uh, you'll, you can get to choose the premium beverage package. Uh, that's a must, obviously. Um, and then I would go for the speciality most, most dining. Most people go for speciality dining, but as I said, you've got your Wi-Fi or your short excursion credit. You get, I think, $50 per port excursion credit but most people tend to go I, yeah. drinks, drinks and dining, dining. yeah uh, sold on that one uh, and uh, date wise well here's the prices on the various dates uh, starting um in november and going all the way through to april next year we've got some great prices as well on the outside the balcony and we've got a little look at those mini suites as well uh, starting there um at 1700 that january price pounds. is really good look at the balcony price for january really good that is re that'd be a great time to go wouldn't it guy mm-hmm yeah. I'm just drinking my water. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> she was just water. Um, but um, <laughs> I did like the look of that ship. I thought she was beautiful. And I've, I've cruised with uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines a few times. had a great time. But it's now time for this week's solo special. Now, I know a, a lot of our regulars do look out for our, our solo special. This is a very special Solo special, isn't it? Solo special on something new. No, so so obviously, as many of you know, we 
I would say with p and and Morella, they're our two most popular cruise lines that we sell on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and obviously, Morella as a cruise line have been selling. They've brought in their new ships with Explorer and Discovery, and they're selling up hotcakes. I've just at the bought moment. my next one. I know. With yeah, my mom. you're a bit of an addict now. We've yeah. got Morella Explorer. Four weeks, mum, for our cruise. I've taken my mum on a cruise uh, with Morella for her 79th birthday. Very nice. Just me and mum, so that'd be great. Lovely. lovely. So yeah, I'll probably drink more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> so so they're, they're, doing, they're doing loads of stuff with the cruising. Now, what they've now got into is river cruising. Okay, so Tui are very we're calling it Tui, but Tui are going into the into the river cruise market. So are these brand new is, ships, by the way? Yeah, brand new. So they're being constructed as we speak at the moment. Obviously, officially for Tui, but they look beautiful. Oh, wow, absolutely beautiful. That doesn't and look again, like a river cruise. No, and again, as I said, it, they're, they're so so popular now. And again, it, it, it's quite a competitive market with the river cruise lines. But again, obviously, these are all. Uh, images that they, they've released to us at the moment so I mean they're not going to be like that with the gentleman they'll probably be a little bit more of a uniform on but and he will have a face obviously. he will have a face but these are just some of the images they've got at the moment it does look stunning um, and again I think this is a brand new product that two of you are releasing and again you know it's all packaged up with them so they they, they deal with everything for you but the ships look I lovely tell you and, what the, they and the do, cabins look they? amazing and I think with the with the Danube as well, we're featuring the East Danube on here. That it's it's always a popular destination. So brand new know, ship, it's just launching. I, I in think two are just getting better and better. I they really are, do. they are, and they, their whole product has changed over the last yeah. three or four years. And you know, they, they had older ships which they they identified and they've replaced a lot of them with the newer ones now. And as I said, people love them and go back. I, I did my cruise this year. You've been two or three. So times I've now. just put my third. Yeah. yeah. And I never thought, I know, you know, I just never thought I, it would be for me. I just no. didn't, and, and and I absolutely love it. And looking at the images of the River Cruise, I know this has been selling really well. Yeah, um, it is going to be outstanding. Yeah, and as I said, I think this is the first time we've officially sort of featured it as a as a deal. And again, it's going to be a nice one to do. Well, um, let's. Uh, take you on board and uh, give you a little idea so we uh, we're flying over to Budapest aren't we yeah so Budapest is always a popular destination to go into and again we're going to start off with Budapest and again this is split into two between Hilly Buda which sits on the west of the river and then you've obviously got the Pest which is down near the Parliament buildings on there so we're going to fly you into there and that's where you're going to start your cruise now as we make our way down this is where I pronounce everything completely wrong so just I apologize oh, completely <laughs> the but emails will be coming in Glenn. yeah so uh, Kalaska, that's not, that's definitely wrong. That's in Hungary. And again, this is uh, the red colour of the town on here. They say it's red in the town area, but this is just inland from the Danube River. And again, it's called the Paprika capital of the world. But again, you get a chance to go and explore there. Um, and again, the tours, you can obviously book with them as well. You've got the experience, chance to go around those. Um, but again, it's a nice opportunity. And again, with all of our river cruises, you're docking close into the centre of towns then to go off and explore. We then stay in Hungary. Hungary and we go over to Ma Mohaskas. <laughs> going to be so a bit of hesitation any of, our, now, any of our Hungarian <laughs> viewers today will be phoning me tomorrow morning when I'm in the office. Uh, and again, this one, um, as I said, is very quiet during the winter but comes alive in the summer area. And again, it, it wakens it, it for, for the whole centre there and it's one of the capital centres here in this part of the world. But again, from here you've got the opportunity. It's going to be warmer than that, I promise you. It's going to be. It's and what was that pronunciation again? No, we just move on from there. <laughs> um, um, but again, an opportunity to go there from there. And then from there we go down to Novi Sad, which is in Serbia. So again, a lot of these countries you've probably not been to before. And again, this sits right on the bank of the Danube River. Now remember, again, when you're traveling down, it's a lot more leisurely than the normal ocean cruises where you're flying from one destination to another. But here you've got the opportunity to go down and look at some of the stunning parts. They call it the Athens of Serbia. And again, many, many historical landmarks that, in this part of the world. That looks really nice, actually. Right? It does, yeah. yeah. And they've got a lot of Renaissance buildings. They've got Gothic style buildings here beautiful church, the uh, St Mary's Church in the centre there, and you've got the opportunity to go and explore there. From there we make our way on, on a day at sea and we cruise the Iron Gates, which is one of the big things to see on one of the river cruises. And again, as you make your way up there, you've got beautiful rock carvings, you've got the tree-clad slopes, so you'll have some stunning views as you drive up, as you, you sail up, obviously, to the Iron Gates themselves, and that's going to be one of the highlights on this particular cruise. From there, we then go down into Belgrade. And again, it's one of the up and coming uh, capitals of Europe. And again, it's like several cities thrown into one here. Um, you've got beautiful, beautiful uh, architectures. You can see there, you've got the fortress to go and wander around. And as I said, all these tours you can do. And that's where the ships dock, as we said there. So you can make your way straight into Belgrade from there. 
Oh no. Then we go into Vukovva in Croatia. <laughs> That's definitely going to be wrong. Now, Kat's one of our uh, ladies that works in the office and she's from this part of the world and she's laughing in my earpiece at the moment at my pronunciations. She's but also our senior producer of the show, Glenn, so yeah, well, that, we're hoping well, she'll well, book well, me well, again. That's well, it'll all. be my last show, so it'll be fine. <laughs> so that's not a problem. But this area here is a little bit different because obviously Croatia now is such a buzz place to go with uh, Dubrovnik and Havar and places like that. But with the opportunity here, you can go more into uh, a little bit less developed than some of the other places and, of course, a lot less Hill. So here you've got the City Museum, um, again they've preserved a lot of it, they've restored it since the war in 91 as well and again beautiful village. There will be more people than that in the town, I can promise you that, but again nice place to wander around, some lunch, have a few drinks as well and then back to the ship in the afternoon. And then from there we're back into Budapest and that's where you'd be making your way home. But I think, you know, just speaking to clients that have gone on there, uh, the Danube is one of the most popular destinations to go to. And I think, you know, you're trying a brand new ship, a brand new product with TUI. Yeah. You know they're going to be looking after you the whole time. And if they if they move the service from the river um, from the ocean cruises to the river cruise, their staff are exceptional on board and they always look after you. And I think this is going to be I, a really, really popular one. I think this will be one of the top sellers tonight. Um, obviously, TUI have got a big, big following. Uh, you do get, of course, you'll be pleased to know, uh, drinks with meals and all your tips included as well. Um, you'll get to experience hidden gems of Eastern Europe there, as we mentioned. Uh, well, go on, <laughs> go on. <laughs> You're not getting away with it. <laughs> well, Such as that, be sad. Where's those hidden gems? Bar, of course. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, okay. Bar there. <laughs> uh, you get, you, you'll be over and out on board in Budapest. Uh, the single special on this, brilliant. We have got single um, cabins available from just £1,519. Obviously, there's not many of them, so do try and book as soon as you can. Uh, return flight is based on London Gatwick, uh, but flights are also available from London Heathrow and Manchester as well. Which is good. Really yeah. good, because I know that, you know, a lot of our uh, northern viewers uh, always look out for those. Price-wise, uh, we've got lots of great dates. Uh, obviously, brand new ship, um, lots of interest on this one, but we have got dates from April through to October. The only other thing I would say on those as well, if you are doing it and you've never done a river cruise, I know a lot of people have done ocean cruise and they're moving over to river cruises now. The river views are great, that's fine, but if you can push it out, have a look at going for the French yeah. balcony because the highlights of the cruise is going up and down there, sitting on your balcony, taking in a few drinks and just taking in so the views. So you want those so views, don't I you? I say, if you take a river view, you'd be more or less upstairs most of the time, but if you can literally push the boat out, go for a French oh. balcony. I do, I really, really uh, like the look of that. Um, but it is now time for this week's Hot Pick. Well, now this one, I, I, I proved this earlier on actually at five o'clock. Um, unbelievable. If I was retired, I would... <laughs> Glenn's looking at me thinking we should be retired at your age. Not but long, no. not long, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I would jump at this if you can get a hold of it this time of the year. But first of all, it is with Celebrity. And uh, it's a 20-night cruise on the 4th of December, so in a, you know, a few weeks' time, on board the Celebrity Millennium. And she's just been revitalised as well, yeah, hasn't she? Yeah, so basically on here, I mean, this is a phenomenal opportunity. If you want to go down to this part of the world, because it takes in Bangkok, parts of Vietnam, you've got stays there in Hong Kong with the Symphony of and Lights tour, stays in Singapore as well. Uh, Ho Chi Minh as well, yeah. Yeah, and they're doing 20 nights. 20, 20 nights. nights. Uh, now, that price is very key, however, if you go for an ocean view, and the ocean view is only 1679, you'll get the free unlimited drinks. Now, for a 20-night cruise, that... that <laughs> well, I think it's about a 14, 15-night cruise. Oh, of course, cruise, you've got your flights but, and stays, you know, work yeah. work out the math. For a couple of hundred pound extra, you're getting the drinks package included on there. Yeah, you're right. It would be about a two-week cruise, that, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's about two weeks, I think it is, with the extra bits and bobs on there but, anyway. And again, we can always move it a couple of days extra in Hong Kong or Singapore if you want to, but that is exceptional value. I mean, it really is. Um, I know there's not a lot of availability. No. Uh, get that ID number down, it's 166666, it made it nice and easy for us tonight, <laughs> uh, but that is an amazing deal. I wish I could do that, I yeah, really do. it's good. I mean, we get deals like that come up at last minute, a few cabins left, they give us a deal on it anyway, but as I said, you think what you do on there, that's less than, what, 80 quid a day? That's ridiculous, isn't it? It's good. I just can't do it, but I would do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so do give us a call for that. There's not a lot of availability, but it's now uh, time for uh, this week's Destination Hotspot.
I was thinking, well, not me, well, it's a hot spot as in terms of. Well, it's a cold spot. <laughs> Trust me. I did three years up there, mate. I... You've got hot spots in a place that everyone wants to go. Yeah. Yeah. But well, this is. Now, if you want to ever see the, the Northern Lights, this is the ultimate adventure, yeah, isn't listen, it? Yeah, listen, everyone's got things on their, their bucket list that they do. I've been very fortunate enough to do quite a few things within the jobs I've done. But I did three years um, on Northern Lights cruising, you know, normally from sort of like the end of January through to sort of the start of April. And. And it's a wonderful experience to go and see this. Now, we're taking you up here in the prime, prime time to go up here, um, up onto the Northern Lights. Now, we're, we're taking you up on Hurtigruten. Now, these ships are geared up for this part of the world. It's not like one of the ocean cruises is just doing a cruise up there and it's all a little bit new to him. These guys have been going up and down this coastline for years and it's literally their bread and butter And this now. is what they do, they're specialists. This is what they yeah. do, yeah. So, with Hurtigruten, it's very, very different to other cruise lines. They, they stop and start all the way up along the coast line for sometimes shorter stops sometimes longer stops but the main highlight of this is of course see the northern lights now again um, when you're going up to the northern lights again they will let you know on board the ship if they see them even if it's two o'clock in the morning they'll make an announcement northern lights are out some of the sights I've seen at two o'clock in the morning with people running up on deck <laughs> is things I don't want to talk about <laughs> but it is an experience and once you've seen it all I would say to you is Pack your wardrobe, it's cold up there, you need good footwear, things like salopettes, good footwear because it's cold and it's icy up there, but this is what you're going up and to this part of the world for, to see the Aurora Borealis. And, and obviously, uh, at this time of the year, there's a very, very good chance you will. Yeah, yeah, I mean, again, I'd be very, very surprised on an 11-day cruise if you're up in that part of the world that you don't see him throughout your tour. Obviously, there's, there's certain weather conditions, if it's cloudy and things like that, it's never good, but you're up there for 11 nights, it's not like it's a one-day thing to try and see them, and, you know, they, they'll teach you up there as well. It's very difficult to take photos of the Northern Lights, you need, you camera on certain settings but the staff up there will assist you and I would say to you if you your phones aren't really going to work you really need to get a good camera to go up there to get the proper photos but to see that as you're sailing up is is on most people's bucket list yeah I, and they actually do offer the Northern Lights promise as well yeah so the Northern Lights promise is if you don't see them during the dura duration now that can't mean that you're sleeping if they if they appear during the cruise um, but if they don't, they will offer you another cruise. Wow. So it's a really it's no, not a bad the, offer. You yeah, are, you it's know, not a bad The chances offer on are very good that you're going to see this. But um, let's take you on board. Again, some great names for you to pronounce on this one. Well, Glad. actually, you do know most of them, though, don't you? Well, yeah, I've been to a lot of them before. Now, again, as I said to you before, I'm not going to go through. There's about 23 different ports that they stop up as they go up and down the coastline there. And as I said, a lot of them are not like a. Like, I always say Rome, but like at 7 in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. They don't do that. They go up, they stop for a short time, you can wander off. A lot of these are sort of small hamlets they go to. But so it is a proper authentic experience, It's isn't a proper it? authentic experience. Sometimes people will use the ship to get up and down the coastline, the locals and stuff. So again, you'll meet the locals, you'll meet the traditional ways of life up there. But it is a great opportunity to do that. And if you want to tip the northern lights off, this is a good opportunity to do that. So we, uh, <laughs> we fly you over to... Is that vodka too strong? Right? Oh, it's a bit strong. Is it? Okay, yeah. we'll get... Well, uh, get <laughs> so what we're going to do anyway, we'll move on because they're not putting the map in at the moment. So we're going to fly you up to Bergen on here and this is where you're going to start your 11 day cruise. And then you are going to make your way up. See that whole coastline on there? You're going to go right up there. Wow. And the main thing is you're going to go through the Arctic Circle as well past Tromso. So you're going to go all the way up. So as you head up the coastline, we're going to go to Flora and then up to Mulder. Now, Mulder is uh, quite a, a, an interesting place to go and see. Any Manchester United fans, that's where Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was the manager. Um, he's done well since he left. And um, you'll go to a place here called the uh, Great Atlantic Road, and that road there dips up, and it's quite an interesting thing to see. Now, again, as you go along the coastline there, as we, we head up from one port to another, um, the coastline's spectacular, but the main thing is, obviously, you're looking out for the Northern Lights. Now, the main thing, as I mentioned before, with the Northern Lights, as little cloud cover as well and also lack of light so again they'll turn the lights off a lot of time on the ship because you'll get better views of the northern lights as we move up we go past Svolva which again is further along the coastline there and then from there we go all the way up as we carry along that coastline through the Lofoten Islands up to a place called Kirkness now Kirkness is up through the Lofoten Islands um, now, Kirkness is really, really interesting to go to. They've got the Varanga Museum. They've also got the Nature Reserve there. And, of course, when you're there as well, in a lot of these destinations, you've got the opportunity to go and do excursions, like you just saw there with the Husky Dogs. There's going to be snow and ice on the floor. Again, good footwear is a must on this one. So 
We do Kirkness first of all, and then from there we go across the north, um, the Arctic Circle, and we're going to go into Tromso. Now, Tromso, again, is a huge university town, and you can see, look at all the distance. You're going all the way to the very top there, but Tromso is spectacular. Now, that's in the summer. It's going to be very, very different in the winter, but you've got the ski slope there, you've got the university, and again, you've got a number of things to go and see there, and one of the popular destination things to go and see is the Arctic Cathedral, which is there. Wow. And if they do a, a concert in there, which they tend to do, the acoustics in there are phenomenal. And as I said, that is the Arctic Doesn't it all look so beautiful, yeah. though, doesn't it? And again, throughout this tour, they will have a couple of excursions where you actually go and see the Northern Lights, where you're, they'll take you away from the ship. And I know it sounds silly, almost take you to a field with no light at all, and that's going to be your best opportunity to get the great views of the Northern Lights. And then we go all the way and we carry on and we carry on up through Tromso, and then from there, we start to head then back down again all the way back down again and we come down to Buda, we come down to Trondheim and then we also come down to Alessand as well. Now as I said all the way through here and all of the destinations we have you'll have staff on board they do this throughout the year the whole year so if you've got any information you want any um, uh, destination information they're there to help and assist you and again the other people to speak to are the locals because they'll also be getting on and off the ship as they make their way along the coastline there which is really really interesting now the one thing with this deal is I had um, six guests calling about this the other day they were looking I think for the 23rd or 25th of January and we gave them a price they said okay fine they were doing a bit of shopping around they phoned her to Gruton and the price was nearly double Wow the reason being is we have an exclusive price and we have a group on this. So if you phone her to group themselves, it's going to be a lot more expensive. This is why you book through us, because that price on there is from 999 per person. And that, this is actually, we think it's the best deal that we've ever, ever had. Yeah, exactly. Really? If you've been to Norway, you know how expensive, you know what you normally yeah. pay to go up there. But the Troll Fjord is a beautiful ship. It's, it's had a refurbishment. It's geared up for this part yeah. of the world. Great viewing areas on there as well. And the staff are experts. So this is one of our, like, explorer cruises they have on there but the price is brilliant. Well, well just to talk to that is Glenn just mentioned it is exclusive uh, pricing the northern lights promise that means you'll get a free five night or six night cruise if the lights don't appear all the terms and conditions uh, of course can be talked through with our uh, cruise consultants tonight uh, the single special is amazing and it's a single outside isn't yeah, it? Yeah well there's basically no supplement. No there's a thousand ninety nine that's the same price as, uh, same as price sharing as isn't outside, it? Yeah. yeah. So that is exceptional. Again, we, we so if you're, not, if you're not happy with your wife, have two singles. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to pay any more. It's great. <laughs> we're curing marriage problems of and we're sending you we to the Northern Lights. Uh, but that, that is, the, again, I think that's the best we've ever, ever yeah. had. You know, bear in mind this is 11 nights as well. Return flights from London there and uh, the ships uh, differ slightly depending on departure dates. We have got a few dates actually. We've got three dates available on this one. So I've got the 6th of January the 7th of January or the 19th of January. But look at that single outside. Yeah. Amazing. I really know we had amazing. these a little bit later on in, the, in January for when there was a supplement to go from a couple of the other airports and they're probably in direct flights. London's going to be the best price. Give the guys a call. We can look up if there are other dates. Might be a little bit more expensive, but they're the best prices. 999 on those three dates in January. That is a re that's, that is a really And people good always ask, oh, are we doing the 6th and 7th of January? It's two different ships. Yes. Okay, because those <laughs> ships go up and down the coastline um, throughout the whole uh, winter time. Well, we, we've still got uh, a couple of more cruises to tempt you with this uh, Tuesday. And um, about 11 years ago, uh, I just started presenting the show, went on my first cruise. Yep. It was with Royal Caribbean. And they got me hooked, and I've now done 30 cruises or so. And I've been very lucky, obviously, but um, they were the company that hooked me into cruising because my first experience with them was amazing. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, uh, the Majesty is uh, one of their older ships in comparison to, obviously, some of the newer ones. But the main thing with this one is the destinations that you're going yeah. to. Yeah. And, and, again, it's a really, really interesting one. So we do a lot of these cruise and stay holidays, and we can, we can tailor-make this to, to suit you. That's what we're experts in. But... But this one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to fly you first of out to, out to Memphis. Now, Memphis, of course, famous for Elvis of course. and Graceland. Now, we've done two days on here. Personally, I'd extend it to at least three days on there for and you. And you, you could, could easily do that, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, you can take a trip out to Graceland. The other thing we were discussing this earlier about with the guys before we came on board, a trip to the Peabody Hotel to go and see the ducks. Now, if you don't know about the Peabody ducks, Google them. 
They get in a lift and they come and feed. Just <laughs> they, Google it. They Just obviously Google do. It. We did earlier. It. Now, that's what you're there for. You've got your computers in front of you. Google the Peabody Hotel Memphis Ducks and you'll see what I mean. But again, the main thing with this one is to get out to Graceland. That's what you want to do there. And if you're into Elvis, you're into your rock and roll, you're in the heart of music country here. So we've done two days. You're only going to go there once, probably extend it to at least three and days. Now, then you get the Amtrak. Yeah, so we're doing an Amtrak. We're not flying you down. We're Amtracking you down so you get to That'd see more of, yeah. the, uh, more of the country. And then from there, you're going into the wild and wacky New Orleans. Now, again, a, a real buzz place to go and see. Now, we've got various hotels. We can look at putting you in the French Quarter. Uh, depending on what you want to go. We've done two nights there. Again, if you've got the time to do it, maybe extend it to three nights and make this whole package 14 nights, three days in Memphis, three days in New Orleans. A, both um, Memphis and New Orleans are, are definitely on my bucket list. Actually. Yeah, well, again, yeah. if you love your jazz music, you've got a chance to do that. You can do one of the uh, airboat rides. You can go to Jackson Square. You can go to the National War Museum. They also do a vampire walking tour as well, which is really interesting mm -hmm. if you fancy trying that. If not, just spend time down in Bourbon Street and just enjoy the jazz. Uh, uh, and you're then going to embark on a seven-night cruise. Uh, just give you an idea of the ship, because you're going to be on board the uh, Majesty of the Seas. Is she? What sort of size is she? Uh, she's not one of the big ones at all. So is she going to be? Yeah, the, about two to a half thousand. It's oh, not nice though. Yeah. yeah. But as I said, um, you know, a good ship. All the amenities on board uh, a Royal Caribbean ship. And again, if you've never tried them before, they're a great opportunity. But again, the main thing is this, of course, is the ports of call that we're going into as well. So from from a, as soon as you get on board, again, you might have had you know six days in Memphis, New Orleans, you want to relax and chill out. So the first day is going to be at sea. And then from there, we're going to head down to Key West. Now, one of my mates, one of my best mates, um, I was at work on Sunday night. I got a voicemail, uh, I got a Facebook message, and he was messaging me from Key West. He was sitting in hard rock and he was just showing me it looks stunning down that part of the oh, world. Is, we drove there last year yeah. um, and it was a great day. Well again it's the southernmost point of the uh, continental yeah. USA and again from this one here um, you can go down to Duval Street, Malaroy Square, the Her uh, Ernest Hemingway Museum or of course famous for the beaches and you're going to have a day there in Key West. And then we go into probably the highlight which is their new island which is Coco Cay. Again if you've not seen this um, we've got a little video to show you. And this is a private island, isn't it? It's a private island for Royal Caribbean. Um, again, the ships will be the only, only Royal Caribbean ships will go in there, and they call it the perfect day. So you can see now one of our one of our guys in our office has just come back from there two weeks ago, and I'll be honest with you, he's annoying us. He hasn't stopped talking about it for two <laughs> weeks. But you've got everything. You've got the tallest water slides in North America. So you've got a wonderful water park on there to keep everyone occupied. You've got the beaches there. You've got the wave pools. You've got views from the uh, balloon area there and of course you've got zip lining you've got beaches cabanas you've got everything so they say it's the perfect day so you've got everything whether you want to do things a little bit more active or whether you want to chill out a little bit more this is a Royal Caribbean island of course the cars that are used on board can be of course used there as well I tell you, they, it looks like they've invested a lot of money oh, there I, I and a lot tell of you how much they've offered but that's, yeah. your, that's your island you can see where the ships are docking there and that's Coco Cay, so wow. you're going to spend a day there, and that's just in the Bahamas. That's going to be a great day, isn't it? Yeah, that is. And then from there, we're just literally going to go around the corner, we're going to go into NASA. Uh, from there, we're going to go to NASA in the Bahamas. Um, of course, famous uh, for a number of different things. Beautiful Atlantis Hotel, which you can see there, which is one of the world's most iconic hotels. You can spend a day there. Chill out on the beaches. You can even go and swim with the pigs in the Bahamas. Do you know, Hayley, one of our presenters at work, she wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can swim with dolphins, and you can swim with stingrays. Here or in NASA Bahamas, you can go and swim with the pigs. Well, something I'm not, I'm not even commenting on that. I'm moving straight on from there. <laughs> and then what's nice, you've got a couple of chill out days because it is quite an intensive cruise, this one for you. Two days and then back into New Orleans and we'll fly you back home. Uh, it's probably going to be London flights for the best options on there for you, but that is something a little bit special. And the other thing we haven't even mentioned, have a look at the price. Yeah, for brilliant for all of that, isn't and it? And I said, we've done two days at Memphis, two days in New Orleans. I'd stick and the Amtrak. Extra, I'd, I'd stick an extra day on that on both of those if you can. And let's turn it into a 14 day holiday. Yeah. What a great way to start 2020. And the date there is the 14th of January, don't forget. And uh, yeah, really like the itinerary, quite unusual. Yeah, and again, with yeah. the new island, of course, that's where a lot of them are going to now, and it's, and it's wonderful day. Yeah. Uh, but let's give some prices, because there's loads of dates on this one. Uh, so the lead date there was the 14th of Jan, but we're all the way there into July as well. And some great prices for, for Ocean View and Suites as well. However, there's been something missing from this show, <laughs> hasn't there?
What's that then? I don't know. There's something missing. Oh, I know. What are my two favourite words? All inclusive. All inclusive. <laughs> and here is this week's All Inclusive. Oh, look, it's a picture of me and That's you. Right. Now I feel normal again. Yeah, we're back in yeah. it. Now we're back in it. We do like an all inclusive. <laughs> we do. Um, but this is with Celeste. We haven't had them for a few weeks, yeah. actually. A little while. Um, whenever we do, they're always one of the big sellers, aren't they? They are. I mean, they, start, they started being on the show a couple of years ago and they were new to. New, new to the British market, people didn't know who they were, but we've been doing lots of work with them, and, and they're really, really popular, and they, they sort of literally include nearly everything in their package, really, yeah. and, and this one here is a little bit different, because they're, they're calling it the three continents, so you'll see why, but it's a really, really nice itinerary, and something a little bit different. It is different, and, and that price on the screen is, is pretty much for everything, you know, you even get your tours, you get your tips, you get your drinks, uh, so anyway, uh, let's give you a little taster. Celestial Cruises are known for authentic Greek hospitality and incredible destination experiences. Whilst exclusively exploring the Aegean and Eastern Mediterranean seas, with their personalised service, delicious cuisine, incredible entertainment and unique excursions at the forefront of the award-winning Celestial Experience, you're guaranteed an adventure to remember. They currently have two ships in their fleet, the Crystal and the Olympia, both of which are unique mid-sized ships in their own way. Both ships offer cruises for those who seek adventure, those who fancy culinary excitement, or those who just fancy a bit of quality TLC. Celestial Cruises offer a selection of staterooms to suit solo travellers, couples and families of up to four. With up to 65% of the cabins on board a Celestial ship owning an ocean view, there is plenty of choice for you to cruise exactly how you want. Celestial Cruises have an incredible connection with its Greek roots in its restaurants with delicious fresh cuisine served on board, taking diners on a culinary cultural journey, tasting flavorful Greek favorites and tempting local dishes. With all inclusive drinks as standard, there isn't much you can't get to drink on board from beers, wines, and some well-known spirits to cocktails, hot beverages, and of course, water. Entertainment comes in many forms and life on board is fun for all. Celestial Cruises entertainment includes live music, dance classes, karaoke, and more. Celestial Cruises are known for their dedicated Greek and Mediterranean itineraries visiting Greece, Turkey, Cyprus, Israel and Egypt. But it's not just their locations that make their cruises so incredible. The excursions and tours organised and offered by Celestial are what give each day that once in a lifetime feeling. Love them. We just had some people, from, again, we, we, you know, obviously busman's holiday but a lot of our staff go on cruises that, that's what they're in the industry for yeah. so they've just come back from the celestial cruise i tell you what i love about celestial is is they're greek so you're in that part of the world so he's got that greek feel and the cocktails and the food on board and the staff drinks and tips are included sold yeah absolutely and the excursions so sometimes when they include excursions in a package they're normally a walking tour or the I'm not, I'm not talking about any particular cruise company, but they're normally the cheapest ones of the... The trips they include with Celestial are always the best trips, probably the ones that you yeah, would actually Yeah, the main ones that you yeah, actually built. And, and then you've got to work that out as a monetary value, what you'd actually spend. So I think they're brilliant. And the feedback we get... Again, I've had a, I've had a client that goes on a lot of cruises, Sue Garn, um, and she, they came back from the Celestial cruise a little while ago, and they loved it. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really I, I good. I think the, the value is amazing, isn't it? You know, for just over a thousand pounds. So we're going to fly you yeah. uh, first of all to Athens. Um, you transfer to the port, and then you embark the Celestial Crystal for a seven-night cruise. First days at sea, isn't it? Yeah. So again, we're going to fly you from Athens. Again, generally the flights into Athens, even though it's a big airport, is generally London flights. We can look at alternatives for you, but it's normally going to be a London flight in. Now with this one as well, we can also add an extra night stay in Athens. If you've never done it before, it's about sixty quid per fifty-nine pounds per person. So you know, one or two days in yeah. Athens. You know. You think what you can see in Athens with all the uh, Panthenon and the Placa and places like that. So I would definitely add that if you can. But as I said, if not, we just fly you directly in. Then you've got a relaxing day at sea. Again, if the weather's good, chill out, relax. You've got those drinks on board. You can try some of the local cuisine on board. And again, the staff are fantastic. And then we go into Port Said. Now, this is your gateway to get into Cairo and Alexandria. And this is one of the excursions that's included on here for you. Now again, Alexandria and, uh, and Egypt, I think people are still, 
um, you know, doing it themselves. They feel that they want people with them, and this is why they go on the ships and they go with these organised tours. Now, if you want to go and see the pyramids, you want to see the Sphinx, and you want to see um, this place, I've done it a couple of times myself. Again, you get to see the Nile, but of course, that's the highlight. Going to see the Giza pyramids, and that's included in the in the tour there for you. It is a magnificent place to go and see, um, and again, to have the pictures taken there, that is going to be one of the bucket list again places to tick off on there for you, and that trip's included. From there we go over to another place which I think I'm sure a lot of people have wanted to visit and that's going into Ashdod in Israel and of course Ashdod in Israel you've then got the chance then to go to some of the fantastic destinations. Now some of the tours you can do from here, you can go to the Red Sea, you can go to Jerusalem which is one that I would definitely recommend, you can go uh, to Nazareth, go over to Galilee, you've got some amazing amazing tours there and again whether you're religious or not but you want to go to this part of the world I'm sure many people haven't been there before but want to go and see it and you've got the chance there to go into Jerusalem to me that is one place that I'd really really love to go to we then head back into one of the destinations I used to live in. I used to live in Cyprus. Um, we're going into Limassol, that's the main port there. And what's good about Limassol is you can go either way. So you can go left up to Paphos, which again is a very, very popular destination with the Brits on holiday. Uh, you can stay in Limassol if you wanted to, or you can go right and that would take you more up to Ayanapa, Crossras area. Go straight up the top to Famagusta, go into the occupied area if you wanted to or into uh, the main town area and then of course Larnaca as well so a lot of places people you may have been there um, on uh, holiday in Cyprus but we dock in Limassol there and you've got the gateway to go and see the whole of the island. From there we go into wonderful Rhodes. Now we dock in Rhodes Town which is the old city there and where we dock you've got the walled city there you can walk around then I would say head into the centre of town there. Um, we were in Rhodes last year, we went over to uh, Lindos, which is brilliant, you've got the Lindos Acropolis there, um, but if not, stay in Rhodes town and just do that if you wanted to, and that's a nice place to spend some time. But again, they do a tour there. And then finally, we've also got the tour in Kusadasi. So Kusadasi, we're gonna take you to Ephesus, the, ru the ru uh, Roman, that's easy to say, the Roman <laughs> ruins of Ephesus. I mean again, they normally take you nice and early in the morning when it's a little bit um, cooler. Good footwear, trainers, when you're going around there, come back into Kusadasi and then spend the afternoon, do some haggling and bartering, and then from there, back into Athens. I tell you, that's, that's a, a big adventure, isn't it? It is. When you look really at, good destinations. Yeah, all those fantastic, say, ports. Um, and, and just brilliant value. Uh, so whenever we've brought you uh, similar offers such as this, we do get a lot of calls to come in. So it is all inclusive, uh, and they're good drinks as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're Ouzo based drinks, which you always be careful with the Ouzo. But again, but you know, your beers, else, you? your yeah. wines, your cocktails, everything included uh, on there. Tips as well. There's um, free excursions, and they are included in Cairo Roads and Kusadasi there. Uh, as Glenn mentioned, if, you, if you've got the holiday, uh, then I would definitely recommend adding on an extra night or two in Athens. We can do that from just £59 per person. And return flights are based on London Heathrow. We've got quite a few dates on this one as well, so price wise, do you know what, was, what? The one thing I was looking at, you um, you could be way if you haven't made plans already uh, for Christmas the 23rd yeah. of December. That's a really good you price, could. isn't yeah. it? And again, that time of year is going to be a little bit quieter as well when you're going to some of those destinations, especially places yeah. like Athens. If you add on time at that time of year, a bit cooler as well, just so it's not going to be so hot. Uh, but we have obviously got dates all the way through into March of next year as well. Uh, let's just uh, remind you of those drinks. Uh, so that's uh, selected spirits, beers, and cocktails. Uh, Non-alcoholic cocktails, so does iced teas and juices, and also, I mean, I love my uh, my coffees as well. You've got a wide range of hot beverages included. Just really good value. But it's all Don't inclusive, literally. Your yeah. food, your drinks, your tips, your excursions, yeah. everything. Be very hard to spend any extra money, really, wouldn't it? Um, so it's uh, it's that time again. We better recap all the deals. That's been really. I think it's been really interesting shows. It's, it's been yeah. a very diverse show as well. Yeah. New ships and new products and things like that, which is good. So uh, we started off with P and O. Uh, this was the twelve night Canary Islands. P and O always top sellers on the show, and this is the twelve night Canary Islands from Southampton. Uh, the prices are based on select fare, so you'll also get to choose some free on board spend port parking or UK coach transfers. Uh, you can secure your place like this is really good 
it's a pound per person deposit as well. So if you want to really book this now, just a pound per person deposit. Great family deals as well. Uh, the best one there was the 29th of November, where children sell from just a pound per person. And uh, with it being from Southampton, don't forget you can add on a night in the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £95 per person. You get breakfast, parking and port transfers. Then a very exciting then ship. Then we went on to the Ooh. new ship, which was the Encore. And again, this is based over in Miami. Lead date 25th of Jan 2020. Uh, and again, we've got the ID 176505. It's the new ship. You've got that $250 on board spend. That won't be around until only to the 18th of November. Again, everyone's got, well, nearly everyone's going to upgrade to the free at sea for £99. And with those benefits, you've got the drinks, speciality dining, Wi-Fi or shore excursion credit. And generally, flights will be from London plus your transfers. And then another new ship. Uh, and it's TUI, their brand new river cruises that uh, are now on sale and a lot of interest as you can imagine. So you will get your drinks with meals, you get your tips. Uh, you've got a uh, really, really good itinerary. You get to see lots of places yeah, where, that you where, can where, pronounce. Where, go on, where, yeah. Well, there's like Novi Sad, there's uh, Vukovar, for example. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, you get to um, <laughs> spend uh, the night uh, on board in Budapest as well. Great single price, and there's 1519 and return flights based on London. We have got, though, flights from uh, Heathrow. And we've got Manchester, but do book quickly for that one, definitely. OK, and then we go on to Hurt de Gruten, which is up on the, uh, the fields, which is the Northern Lights. Wonderful opportunity if you want to see the Northern Lights to do this. Exclusive pricing. You cannot get this elsewhere. That's why you need to book this. Once it goes, you're going to lose it. You've got the Northern Lights Promise. You've got the single special on there. Return flights from London. And then, OK, the ship slightly differs on the uh, itinerary, depending on the dates. And then Royal Caribbean, love this one as well, on board the uh, Majesty Sea, uh, Maj I'll try that one again, the Majesty of the Seas. Uh, you get two nights in Memphis and New Orleans. You also get the Amtrak train, uh, of course, as well, and seven nights on board the Majesty of the Seas there. Some great, uh, there's some great ports on that as well, and that, that fabulous day in Coco Cay as well. And then last but by no means least. And then we went on to Celestial, which is the three continents from Athens on the lead date 2nd of December. And this one's got all tips and drinks included. Uh, tips and drinks included on this one. Free excursions in Cairo, Rhodes, and Kusadasi. Add that one night in Athens. I would do that. And flights from London. Hey, haven't got time to squeeze that um, that hot pick in as well. Yeah, great. Okay, because this was some celebrity. Uh, 20 nights. Uh, you've got two nights in Hong Kong, two in Singapore. You've got a, a, a cruise that would be around about two weeks there as well. But get this, if you go for the Ocean View, you can get that for 1679, and that even includes free unlimited drinks as well. Last minute deal on that one, so do be quick. Glenn, you're back in two, two week, weeks. Two weeks. Um, uh, yeah, it's got be quite a then. special show in two weeks, haven't we? Have, we? Yeah, we've got a new cruising one. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, we'll see you in two weeks. I'll see you next week, though. Cheers, with guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.